Hey guys, what's going on? Tanib Bruce here, and today we're playing a game of the Minecraft Survival Games, and we're playing on the map at Valley Side University on Bad Line, as usual. So, let's just get right into this, see if I can get anything up spawn, and I got a, uh, a ghost, ghost legging? I don't know if that, yeah, I don't have the legging, damn it, it's ghosted. Okay, so I have the helmet, but I guess it's okay. Um, now, something real quick, oh, who the fuck, who is this? Get away, get away, get away, get away. Something real quick, the topic today is going to be, uh, about, it's gonna mainly be talking about Ghost's man, um, like go Gooses, I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he was like a Kohi mod, and he's a friend of mine, and um, it's gonna like kind of sequence, or segue kind of from that into a larger topic area that I want to like really emphasize on, um, which is just gonna be closet cheating in general. Um, I think I, I had something kind of similar to this, I had something about the uh, cheating issue and how I think it's going to um, progress in the future. I think that was a couple of videos ago, but this one is more about how people are able to, or how kind of, uh, there's really no way to tell if someone's cheating at this point anymore, and the cheats have been so good that they're basically, like, you're basically legit and you can't be caught. So, uh, Ghost is a friend of mine, he has like 2,000 subs on YouTube, I think, and he was recently caught cheating on Kohi, and everyone thought he was legit, even Stimpy thought he was legit, and uh, Stimpy, you know, Stimpy's pretty good at uh, finding out someone's hacking, I mean... Uh, whatever, but, you know, he had a, um, a thing. I'm not sure if he's gonna let me say it, so I'm not gonna say it, um, but he had a thing that basically, it, um, it looked very legit, there's no way to tell, and the thing kind of fucked up, um, in the code, the code kind of fucked up, and, um, that, that's what caused it to be detected, but, you know, he was able to get mod and stuff, like, he was, um, he was a mod and shit, like, he got, fr he, uh, was a YouTuber, Fooled like people for a very very long time. I'm not gonna say exactly how long once again because I don't want him to get want him to get pissed at me if I say something that I shouldn't. But he's cheated for a decent amount of time, um, and no one knew. And it's very spooky because everyone thought he was a top player and stuff, and ended up he was a cheater. And this is what I'm trying to tell people: uh, it doesn't matter who it really is. Anyone could be cheating. So. Um, before you get your panties in a bunch. No boom doesn't have, or no boom doesn't auto click. I, I demonstrated that I have very good reasons to believe he does auto click, and um, that's why I made the video. But that's besides the point. Anyways, um, yeah. So I, I think it's just kind of scary that people can just like cheat all the way up um, and not be like found out, especially on Kohi. Bad line, not so much. I think bad line's anti cheats a bit better. It's not perfect. Um, it's uh, sometimes doesn't work. I don't know really what's up with that, but. Uh, most of the time it works very well. It's way more uh, efficient than uh, anti-skid. Anti-skid is uh, a very slow plugin and it is very easily bypassed. Um, Bad Lion uses like some 3D mapping shit, um, but I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, that anti-skid doesn't to map like the way the hits are, their sword like swings and like how much CPS is being uh, distributed among the uh, blocks. I don't know, I probably made no sense right there, but um, I'm just trying to pay attention to that. Who is that? W, wait, U underscore W. Huh, a three letter name, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, bad line uses some extra things that Kohi doesn't really know how to do because G Berry is a better dev than Purple's, but it's not the best. Um, my friend Nexus UK, he has an anti cheat, detects everything, doesn't matter what setting you have it on. Um, I tried, I went on Hazuni, or sorry, I went on Flare, um, and I, the Flare Premium, and I, um, turned the, oh shit, I turned the, uh, Kalora all the way down, so, like, it would only hit inside the hitbox, and I turned it to one CPS, so it would only swing one every, like, one time every second, and I turned the randomization on, so it would be, like, randomized, and it would flag every time, um, like, every time I hit him, it would just set off a log. I swear, this is a team of two, I think, um, I'm really bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Yeah, it's a team of two. Oh, is it? No? Yeah, it's a team of two. Damn it. Get away. 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 Leave me alone. Dude. Don't have arrows. Yeah, he's not going to leave me alone. All right. So basically, that's what I wanted to talk about. What are you guys? What are your guys' thoughts on... um? This whole thing. What do you think that uh, 
Oh, they're not teamed, okay. Do you think that, um, are you surprised? I've known he's been cheating this entire time. I haven't said anything because I'm his friend, but, um, do you think this could indicate that there could be other cheaters that are, like, silently up the, like, all the way up the leaderboards? Because if something, if that little thing didn't fuck up with his little thing, I'm not gonna say what it is, but, um, because he doesn't want people to know, but his little, like, um, device, I guess? I mean, he did admit to auto-clicking, and that's pretty much what he was using, but it was something, like, a little bit different than an auto-clicker. Um, it was, a uh, very special, I'm just gonna say that. Uh, but, um, if, uh, that didn't fuck up, he could've just been mod, he could've probably gotten mod, senior, or mod plus, and senior mod, went on to become a, an admin, and all, lo and behold, you have a Kohi admin that, that's cheating, and, you know, I, it's just, uh, Kind of scary. I, it makes me wonder whether or not there's actually people who are like that, but don't get caught, and then are. Ooh, whew, yo, so close. That don't get caught are actually that that are actually up the leaderboard and they're they're clienting low key, and no one's questioning it. Uh, so I don't know. Do you guys think that those people exist? I'm not sure if they do. They probably do, but I don't know. Do you have any ideas of who they could be? I'm not sure. Uh, so that's pretty much what I wanted, what I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm sorry for all these topics about like clients and ghost clients, but I really need to get stuff off my mind when it comes to this topic because I have a channel like basically based around it. So um, yeah, this guy is very scary. I, he has a bear skin like uh, iBear HD, who's a fucking tool. Um, all right, they're just gonna fight each other. Yeah, come on, get him. Get him, bear. Get, come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Let's try to, like, get some arrows, maybe. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I'm so fucked. Shit. All right, there's nothing in there for me. Absolutely nothing. This is so intense. This is so intense. I have a oh my god. Is that a gapple? Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? He has a diamond sword, too. Dude, I'm dead. I'm dead. RIP! Damn it. Alright, well, good fight, dude. Uh, he had eight hearts, but whatever. It's Tiny Door. It's Tiny Door. Um, GG. GF. Oh, didn't type it. Whatever. GF. Um, and apparently global chat is disabled. So anyways, uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.